Greetings, and welcome to Freedom Quest. One would hate to falsely accuse anyone of being a deceiver, let alone a satanic puppet. But unfortunately, in this case, the shoe fits quite nicely. The cessationists are the epitome of false teachers. They are the very picture of the blind, leading the blind. And sadly, they have led many into the ditch of the doctrines of demons. You might find that statement to be rather harsh, maybe even unjustifiable. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you will see that the accusation is not only justifiable, it is the gospel truth. So let's start with a simple definition of cessationism. The cessationists start out by erroneously insisting that the gifts of the Holy Spirit have ceased. Hence the term, cessationism. But they don't stop there. No they insist on adding fuel to the fire, and salt to the wound, by teaching that God no longer speaks to his children. And the icing on the cake, is that they also insist, that God no longer does miracles. So no gifts, no communication, and no miracles. Sounds like a Pharisee right? Actually, they are modern day Sadducees. The Sadducees, like the cessationists, don't believe in the supernatural. No angels, no prophets, no revelation, no nothing. They have their Bible, and that's all they need. And, that's all they want. Whatever happened to seeking God with your whole heart, mind, and strength? No thanks. I got this book here, and I'm good to go. Don't get me wrong, I love the Bible, but I don't want a relationship with the book, like I want a relationship with my Father God. The book was given, to lead you to its author, the Holy Spirit. The Bible is not the end, it is the beginning. But not for the cessationists. They would rather cherish the book, than revere its author. Sad, but true. And since they reject the Holy Spirit as their teacher, they end up believing all kinds of goofy and erroneous blasphemy. So who are these people, and where do they get their doctrine? Good question. The reality is, most of them come from the cult of Calvinism. To clarify, not all cessationists are Calvinists, but most Calvinists are cessationists. And if you think the cessationists are bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. As we all know, error begets error. Likewise, heresy begets heresy. So what's so wrong with the Calvinists you ask? Well they start with the heresy of Tulip, and end up with the blasphemy of divine sovereignty. And what is divine sovereignty? It is the very epitome of false doctrine. Let's face it, we all believe in the sovereignty of God. He answers to no one. He calls all the shots. But because the Calvinists don't believe in free will, they came up with their new and improved definition of sovereignty, called divine sovereignty. In the Calvinists' doctrine of divine sovereignty, God is so sovereign, that he is the root of all evil. Yes you heard that right my friend. The Calvinists teach that God does not just overlook sin, lust, and violence, he is actually the cause of all sin, lust, and violence. He doesn't just allow rape and murder, he orchestrates it. So he forces people to disobey, then sends them to hell for their obedience. So the Calvinists don't say that the devil made me do it, it was God. In their demented minds, they think that God forces men to rape children. Then when that child gets pregnant, he forces the mother to abort her baby. Then in congruence with their blasphemous heresy, their God sends the rapist, the victim, and the aborted baby, to hell. So now do you see what we mean? Calling God, the root of all evil, is not just erroneous, it's insanity my friend. Pure unadulterated insanity. And that's the kind of false doctrine that you end up embracing, when you reject the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. He is also the author of the scriptures. Who better to interpret those scriptures, than the actual author? That would be like saying, that I would rather have a book written by Albert Einstein, than to have Albert Einstein, as a permanent house guest. Not everything about general relativity, is a piece of cake. Likewise, the Bible is not always plain and simple black and white. Occasionally, you might need a little help getting the true meaning. And that's where Einstein comes in. Or in this case, the Holy Spirit. The scriptures are replete with evidence that denies the false doctrine of Calvinism and cessationism. Jesus himself said that he would not leave us here, as orphans. 
No, the Father will send another helper, the counselor, the teacher, the seal of your salvation, and your down payment of heaven. And he will be with you, forever. Did you get that? Forever. As in, forever. And as far as the gifts of the Spirit go, the Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13, that the gifts of the Spirit would be with us, until we see Jesus, face to face. But what about God speaking to his children? That stopped with the apostles, right? Sorry my misguided friend. The Bible is full of verses that contradict the cessationists. A super easy one to remember is Revelation 3.20. That's where Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and knock. If anyone hears my voice, and lets me in, I will commune with them. Unquote. Did you hear that? Contrary to the cessationists, Jesus still speaks. So what is the actual source of their false doctrine? The answer to that enigma is actually quite simple. Tradition. They get their man-made doctrine from a man. The Calvinists get all their cultic doctrine from their cult leader, a 16th century psychopath named John Calvin. His false doctrine is displayed in his definition of divine sovereignty, and his documented psychotic nature was demonstrated by his public behavior when he had his detractors burned at the stake. So the cessationists get their false doctrine from their tradition of following men like John Calvin and modern-day heretic John MacArthur. But where did John Calvin get it from? That's called the doctrines of demons. And clearly, none of their doctrine comes from the scriptures. It comes directly from the traditions of Calvinism. And by their traditions, they nullify the word of God. So where do we go from here? Should we burn them at the stake, like their mentor John Calvin did? Absolutely not. You don't fight fire with fire. You fight fire with water. The water of the word of God. You overcome darkness with light. You overcome error with truth. You defeat the enemy with the sword of truth. But to be a good soldier for Christ, you must first learn how to wield the sword of the spirit, the word of God. Rightly dividing the word of truth. So take the time to be a true student of God's word. Then compare the word with their error. But be very careful to not be sucked into their cult by the wiles of the devil. The Calvinists and cessationists are gifted scripture twisters. Very gifted. But hold fast to the truth and let your light burn bright. Shout the truth from the rooftops. And as our beloved brother Jude said, build yourselves up in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, unto eternal life. Have compassion on the gullible, by pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment defiled by the flesh. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, to God our Saviour, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Unquote. So be a soldier for Christ, not a puppet of Satan.